So question seven for the 7th of August is, and I've actually minimized my screen, so what is it? It is, it is, oh, that's right. How can GM, how can a GM make the stakes important? How can a GM make the stakes important? I feel like this is a really difficult question without being like, getting into the epics, you know, like, oh, the whole town is going to be destroyed. We're trying to prevent the apocalypse. Or threatening NPCs that are close to PCs. How can they make the stakes important without doing those things? I think the number one thing to do probably is your players have to have created goals and desires for your player characters that aren't as dire and cut and dry and binary as I have loved ones. Okay, great. I'm going to put them at, at risk, right? But something else, something, um, I, and I've talked about these characters before. One of, one of my wife's characters was, um, an apprentice assassin in a guild. And she got her, like, graduation mission. Well, this is what she's been training to do. She's not having, like, a... a con uh, she's not having, like, a... a con what's a, a... Dang it, what is that word? I'm forgetting what the word is. Or the phrase. The, but she's not... It's not like she's experiencing any doubts about whether or not she wants to be in the Assassin's Guild. So, she wants to succeed at her mission. Because that's what she does. That's what she wants to do. This is the life that, and, the, and the profession that she's wanting to pursue. Would the character die if she didn't? Well, I mean, I guess that could be a possibility for a, a guild, for something like an assassin's guild, actually. But I never made that clear. Like, I, I never, and I never intended that, right? Like, the character could have just simply gone off into the, you know... I mean, not that she would have to put the PC away, but just gone off away from the guild. Um... You know, maybe that could have just created a reoccurring bad guy as she has to constantly run from from the guild. Um, you know, that's up to the GM then to handle nicely, right? Like, that's one of those places, much like the whole someone who actually has relatives or loved ones in a uh, in an RPG, like, well, don't constantly put them under threat. Well, if, she w if, if losing that mission would have actually put her at risk and, like, now the guild's going to go after her because they kn she knows who they are and if she's not going to be in the guild, then she has to be eliminated. I can't have them, like, immediately send their best assassin to kill the apprentice, right? Like, th like that's... Because they'll, cause they'll succeed, right? Like, even in something like Rollmaster, they'll, they'll succeed, uh, so I've basically just killed the character because they didn't succeed. And that's also another stake that we don't want to have to try to use. Um, so you could just manage that differently, right? Like, well, for some reason, they're always sending the other recently graduated apprentices to you until you're middle level. And then they're sending the middle level people, right? Like, it could be a constant, like, challenge that's always following you, but not, but isn't necessarily deadly. Um... So, and I had another uh, player character at one point who was uh, a distant descendant of a dethroned, no, of a dethroned nobility. Like, it was one of these things where uh, their house was betrayed and it fell, and this was like five, six generations ago, at least, for dwarves, which were like long-lived, right? So, maybe it was only four generations ago, but... <sighs> You know, their, their, their homeland is now the territory of a bunch of bad creatures, right? So he was trying to get up the experience to be able to lead an army and recruit the army to go take that back. And I can tell you right now, like, had, had he gotten to that point and died and died and failed in the process, the player would have not been disappointed at all, right? Like, he would have been like, that was awesome, that was a great thing. So he had something to go for. So I think that's actually how the player makes the stakes important, is that the players themselves have to give you something to work with. I, 
I, I mean, I suppose you could. I suppose you could also make, um, make something change the landscape of the world, right? Like maybe you change something in the landscape of the world, like. This nation state over here works in a, a, in a fairly nice republic, but there's these other uh, undertones going on, some criminal enterprises, some people who are out for themselves. And if this line of, if this series of quests does not play out well, it's going to become uh, a, a tyranny, right? Like, uh, like a tyrant is going to, it's, it's going to be a dictatorship with a tyrant in charge. That would that would totally change the landscape of the world. That's definitely dire. That definitely makes the stakes important. So you could do something like that. But again, we're kind of getting epic. That's not quite epic at that point. It's not epic like postponing the apocalypse. It's not epic like, um, you know, like saving a you know stopping a mage who's going to summon an ast- a, a swarm of asteroids on a city and totally destroy it. But it's it's kind of epic. So you know. Uh, I think if you want to stay away from epic and then you want to stay away from threatening loved ones, then I think basically it's kind of up to the, what the GM has to do is have players who make something that's important to them that they can then use. I feel like if the players don't give you anything that they're interested in, you don't have anything to work with. Again, like you could create something, but who says that they're going to care about that? Like, what if, what if the players don't care that that city is going to become tyr- tyrannical? That city-state is going to become tyrannical? What if they don't care? Have you really raised the stakes? Right? Like, the stakes are only worth what they're worth. So, you need you, would, you have to have something that's of value to the players. And for that, you have to have... You have to have something that's of value to the player characters. And for that, you have to have players who develop things that are of value to their player characters. So I, I kind of... I think it's almost one of these things where it's actually not up to the GM to create them. It's up to the GM to take advantage of them and to use them well. But I'm not sure if it's up to the GM to make them. This is probably one of those things where I'm going to listen to another... You know, Someone's going to post a video answering the 7th of August and I'm going to be like, oh, right, yeah, right there. That's what it is. That's That's what we needed. So I'm going to wrap this up and I'm going to look at my chat and see what's going on.